Today, we will cover a small ishara that is demonstrative pronoun. In my last video, I have covered this and that only for singular. So today, we will revise this thing and cover dual and plural as well for this, that, these and those. Okay, so let's move ahead. Something, some object that is placed nearby. We'll say hona here. And something, some that, or some object uh, that is placed far away. We'll say honaka. Okay. So, uh, if some object is there, that is supposed to be placed. But if some person is there, it means where it is located. So someone who is nearby here, we'll say hona. If someone is far away, we'll say honaka. That means there. So last time in our video, we have already covered this, okay, for masculine and for uh, that for uh, singular purpose only. This and that only for singular we have learned. So for this masculine, we say haza. When we point to someone or some object or anything uh, that uh, the noun is masculine, any object's name or the any person's name that is masculine, we'll say haza, we'll refer it as haza. And if some object or some person who is feminine, whose noun is feminine, we say hazihi. So haza, hazihi, only for one person, singular, okay? And then we went through that, that, also has masculine and feminine that someone, the person who is far away, okay, the person, one person at a time, singular. The, then we said that zalika and feminine tilka, okay, zalika and tilka. So today we will move ahead with other pronouns that is singular. We already did haza and feminine for hazi. Uh, the examples that we went through were haza al kalamu aswadun. That means this is black pen. And haza refers that is something nearby. Okay. So uh, we say haza, that is nearby. We will point some object and say haza. And that, that should be masculine. And some object that is feminine, okay? The noun of that object is feminine. We say hazihi. So hazihi albintu zakiyatun. That means we are talking about the person this time. For feminine, for a girl, we are talking about hazihi albintu zakiyatun. Or you can say hazihi, hazihi alfatatun zakiyatun. That means that this girl is smart. Next, we have dual. Dual, that is for two people at a time or two objects. And that to these, that to these means these means these two objects are objects are nearby. So for nearby, we say hadani, hadani. These two men are from the bay. How will say hadani arrajulun men the bay. Hadani arrajulun men the bay. If there are two people, two object, or um, in the noun that uh, that has feminine, okay, feminine objects, the nouns are in feminine form. So we say hata ni, hata ni, hata ni. So these two girls are happy. So we are to here talking about the person, two girls, okay. So two people we are referring to hata ni. Alfatatani Saidatani. That means Hatani means these two girls. Alfatatani means girls are happy. Saidatani means happy. Next we have plural. Plural. Uh, we have for masculine and feminine only single word. That is <coughs> ha <coughs> sorry. Ha ula. Ha ula. Ha ulai. So we'll say ha ulai atul uh, at, atta, sorry, atalibu min asin. These students are from C, China. Once again, I'll repeat as I uh, 
stumble on these words. So ha ulai, ha ulai. See, is there atar uh, atalebu men asin? These students are from China. So for plurals and which is nearby, whether it is masculine or feminine, we have one word that is ha ulai. Okay. So these for plurals ha ulai. Dual for two people, whether they are masculine, we'll say ha rani, and for dual that are feminine words, then we say ha tani, and then singular we have haza and hazihi. Let's move ahead. Now um, we learned about this right uh, for dual and plural. Okay, uh, for um, this was nearby here, okay? Someone that is nearby. Some object or someone is nearby. Now we will cover some object or some one that is far away. So for that and those, we have learned Dhalika and Tilka. So here we have singular Dhalika that we have already done. Here I am just simply saying the mas masculine nouns that can be uh, referred as Ravika or just an um, abstract noun. For example, min fadlik la takulu Ravika. That means uh, please. Min fadlik means please. Ta la means no or don't. Takulu means say. Ravika means that. Min fadlik la uh, takulu Ravika. For feminine kind of uh, nouns, we'll say tilka. So, uh, bus, the name of the bus is feminine. There is al hafilati. Okay, al hafilati. So, in this case, we have uh, saar kabu tilka al hafilati. Saar kabu tilka al hafilati. I'll take that bus. So, for singular, we have already covered in our last video. But we just went through this once again. Next is dual. For dual, we have Zanika. Zanika. So Zanika. Arrajulun Tabibam. That means Zanika uh, means those two men are physicians. Or you can say those two, those two men are doctors. So doctor is called as tabib, okay? So for uh, this plurals, we for doctors as it is plural, we'll say tabiban. So for dual, we dual for two men and those are far away from us. So we'll say those two men are physicians or doctors. Zanika arrajulun tabiban. Next, for, uh, for feminine, for feminine, again, we are referring to two girls. So here we will say Tain, Tain, Nika. I'm sorry, Tain, Nika. Tain, Nika. So let's, let's do uh, this. Let's go through the sentence. Rakastu ma Tain, Nika albaitin. Sorry, albintin. So albintin, or you can say alfatatin. I danced with those two girls. Rakastu ma. Rakastu means I danced. Ma means uh, with. Okay. And tin, uh, tainika, tainika albintin or tainika alfatatin. Okay. I danced with those two girls. I have not written alfatatin. I have simply written uh, albintin. What? Next, we have plurals. Again, for plurals, whether it is masculine or feminine, we have same words, okay? One word only, okay? For this, we have u like, u like, u like, okay? U like or u like. Next, where the sentence? Adrisu ma u like atalibu means, adrisu means I study. Min, with those, uh, like with those atalebu means students. Okay, adresu ulaika adresu men ulaika atalebu. 
that means i study with those students so till now this is all that we have learned i have explained in details in this this may be confusion confusing how to remember all these so i have given this table over here to simplify so that you can understand uh, so demonstrate pronoun here i have written gender okay uh, mistakenly i have written only feminine over here i should have written masculine also so it's my mistake please um, you can cover it up so for masculine this is haza and for feminine the singular we say hazi for dual that is these hazani and hatani and for plural we have only haula so this is only that is nearby okay this and these we have singular dual and plural please uh, uh, make sure that you understood this on uh, this part is only for nearby objects or people okay the names that are masculine or feminine are um, will be referred as this if we are pointing to some object that is um, masculine we'll say haza singular and for feminine if we are pointing some object or person hazihi for singular for dual if we're pointing to two um, masculine objects or people we'll say hazani if we are pointing to two females uh, sorry, female uh, object, that means feminine objects or uh, two uh, females, we will say hatani. And for plurals, whether it is male or female, we will say haula. Next, something that is far away. Okay, So this masculine and feminine, I should have written over this. So please, uh, you, so, uh, if you note down in your notebook, um, you can mention this way, masculine and feminine in two rows. Okay. So for masculine, that is far away, singular, we'll say Zalika. And for feminine, that is far away, if um, for a singular, we'll say Tilka. For dual, that means two um, masculine object or two people, we'll say um, Zanika. And for feminine, that those are far away and um, or any object, we'll say Tanika. And uh, for uh, plurals, we have only one, whether it is male or female, we'll say ula ik, ula ik. So that's all for the demonstrative pron pronouns. We have covered everything till now. Thank you for listening to my, and watching and listening to my videos patiently.